Oh, good thing I had another pull. No, this is all, it's all um, a mess. Well, good morning. Happy Easter. Boy, do I need a haircut. I'll tell you what. Hope everyone's having a good Easter. Keeping yourself socially distant from people. I know it's hard. It sucks. <laughs> I know. Um, yesterday, uh, my dad and I, we went out and did some fishing. Uh, we were gonna, I was going to do the challenge. If, if you don't remember, I said I wanted to take this ready to fish fishing pole and only use what's in this tackle box. Well, I forgot how cold the water is. I forgot how the bass are not even at spawning. They're not even pre-spawning. They're not really do nothing. <clears throat> and when I opened up this tackle box, the stuff in here was big. And I wasn't going to catch anything with this, this set. So I, I opted to just use the bait, the bait caster. And then I got into a huge uh, bird's nest with that bait caster. So I had to use the ready to fish fishing pole as the only other pole I had on me. But I will say this, I'm going to revisit this idea where I can only use this stuff here. Uh, the video ended up being my father and me just having a good time being together, father and son fishing. Uh, we explored his land. We ended up finding a hidden pond that um, that we didn't know existed and learning something new. It was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just some Easter time with me and my dad just social distancing from everybody else enjoying <clears throat> excuse me, enjoying each other's company. I'm gonna cook me up some venison sausage, some eggs, get me some breakfast going, get my pole situated all ready to go, hit the rivers for a little bit for a little Easter fishing. I hope you guys have a good Easter. Enjoy yourself. Be safe out there, guys. See you in the next adventure. The river's flowing through. You have these hot. Um, volcanic erratics, boiling crap out, dumping sulfuric, root, nasty looking shit. I got a fish. Into the into the water, and there's a trout. Right? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know I had a fish on it because. Oh, it's bass. It's bass. Ooh, dog. Oh, be good if I. Oh, you had a bass. Oh, that didn't lock into place. Ah, oh, come on, little guy. Oh, oh my God! So I went to go boat flip it in, and as it did it, the wind caught it. Number one. And this pole, actually, in all honesty, is is a, a, a very decent sized pole. I mean, yeah. it's it. I go saltwater fishing. Right, that's the thing. It's almost like it's borderline saltwater. Tuna. I used to love that when people used to fish for trout. They used to hook, set a hook like they're catching a freaking tuna. And how the hell did that happen? Oh, that's a big one. My bass bigger than yours. Cats. My bass bigger than yours. When they're growing up catching saltwater fish, yeah. it took me a while when I got in the freshwater to think you can actually put your hand in their mouth. <laughs> Some of them. Couple pounder. All right, let's see. Let's change this up. We've been throwing this around for a while. So you have to keep your group to five. Yeah. But if you if you go with a normal group of people and they're on they have different last names, um, the the youngest person's who you judge the day on. Oh, I, didn't know that. I read that on the uh, DEM's uh, Facebook page. Wow. But I think it's kind of cool. It would have worked, yeah. Yeah, so you, you being. Yeah. I guess it pays to read the instructions. <laughs> His friend's got a. Oh, oh, I'm on. Oh, yeah, am I on? This, I thought this is a pickle. The way it's fighting. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, it's a bass. Wow. It hit so hard. The boat flip. Oh. You want to hold up your pole. Because you, I caught my fish off my... <laughs> why, why are we so redneck about it? Come on, buddy. Calm down. Yep, yep, yep. You're free. Okay, all right, all right. Come here, girl. There's a rock, there's a boat buoy. Daddy will help you. Thanks, Daddy. I guess I'll get out and you can pass stuff to me. Yeah, that one's so loose. Now, is this a spring fed pond? Well, it's down at the water table. Oh, okay. And it's probably a spring that feeds it too. I don't know if, um, you can see it's surrounded by a ridge. The algae bloom last fall. That blue green algae that turned the whole pond green. I came and checked on this pond when that happened and didn't didn't have it, but I don't know if anything else happened. I mean you would think that with a pond being so open the way it is that it would have some algae problem. Well there's a difference between having algae and having an algae problem. Okay. God, that almost took us out. Where did it go? It's, a, it's above you in the tree. Oh. That was awesome. Where did it go? Where? Let's see it. It's probably obviously in there. Yeah. No, no, it's right here. It's right, it's right oh, here. Oh. It's right in front of us. <laughs> We're all looking up there like a bunch of goopers. I took some underwater footage here. It was really it was amazing. There's bass everywhere. Oh, yeah. It makes you wonder how they get here. Well, there's no inlet, there's no outlet. Right, but again, first of all, white rock bass are not natives right here. They're from the south. Okay. So they were brought up. So how they get from one pond to another, it's hard to look at this and imagine that a hundred years ago this was wide open. This is all field. Mm -hmm. So people were walking through here and swimming in here and pumping water out of here. And sheep were down here. This is a big sheep area with, you know, watering their sheep and their cows. And, and you know, they caught fish in one pond. They probably brought it to another. You know, oh, well, that's a cool fish. Let's have some in our pond. And, I think that's how the fish, and then even osprey can transport a fish from one pond to another. You know, catch a fish in this pond and drop it in this pond and it survives. You know, especially if it's a pregnant fish and has babies and, you know, all that stuff is the reason why a lot of that happens. I'm disappointed I haven't brought fish yet. It is pretty though, just this giant hole in the middle of the woods. Yeah. I do think it's kind of neat that there is like a random, uh, Stone wall just there. Yeah. Well, a lot of these ponds, like the, the stone wall goes through it. You see the stone wall on the other side? Oh, okay, yeah. So when I was cameraing it, you could see it, but it wasn't as neat. And I'm thinking what happened is those are boundaries, property markers. And somebody wanted to mark the pro property. So how they would get the stone wall to go in the, into the uh, pond, I'm assuming they did it in the wintertime when there's ice. And they would just stack up stone wall and then the ice would melt. Oh, yeah. And it would continue their stone wall. During the glacial period, the glacial pushed forward. You know, as the ice expanded, 
and it stopped here, and it pushed all this dirt up. Huh. So imagine, you know, a big um, bulldozer pushing all this dirt up here. Right. And after that, the ice continued, and the, but it went over this, and it it's called con it's like a conveyor. It conveyed all the silt and sand out on top of the glacial, and that's what made Block Island and uh, all this, the barrier beaches and all that. So all the big boulders are from because it was carried by the gla by the glacier. And if you see, and I saw a glacier in Alaska in person. They're miles and miles thick. Mm. So to think, you know, all this these rocks might have been on top of the glacial. And when it finally melted, you know, it settled down here. And that's what happened here. This was a huge chunk of ice that was in the, in the, in the middle of the glacial column. And as everything started to settle, it was so heavy, it just pushed everything out of its way and settled there. And it stayed here until it finally melted and you know, crossed, it made a pond. You know, as the, as, the, as the ice age formed, it grabbed more and more moisture from around the world and locked it up in ice. And as that happened, the, it, the weight of it pushed its way out, and that's how the, the glacial the glacier expanded, and it carved everything in its path because it's so heavy. And then it got to the point where that was kind of settled in, and now the, the least resistance was to go on top of it, and that it was called a conveyor, and it carried sand and dirt and rocks all on top of it. And if you go look at pictures of glaciers, and the one that I was on in Alaska, it's not like this beautiful icy spot. It's dirty because it's it's doing what the glacier is supposed to do. It's carrying dirt and debris. Ooh. So that's how this whole area was formed. And that's why this area is so up and down. Yeah, yeah. And right now, you know, they're seeing a lot of glaciers retreat in Alaska, and they're getting huge valleys. Like, um, for instance, during the ice age. Do you remember in New Hampshire driving up like uh, Franconian Notch or, uh, or heading to Mount Washington? You go through, you're going through uh, all that ravine. That was solid ice from mountain top to mountain top. Yeah. Everything in was solid ice. And once it melted, it opened up a valley and then the trees started growing and things like that. Huh. I'm going to take one more cast. I love that random uh, stone wall. Yeah, this pond looks so much clearer. They don't know. The water around here is, they're cold water fish. So, because the water doesn't get cold like it used to, they don't, they don't, they don't come this far south anymore. Huh. Same thing with lobsters. You're going to see lobsters eventually fade, fade out. Yep, I'm on. Ooh, doggy, what you got here? We got ourselves a bass. Little guy. We're going to bolt flip you up here, buddy. He's wishing he didn't like that. Thanks. What a fish. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Hey. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. I don't think about treble hooks. I hate. There you go. Oh, he's been bit one time. Look at the tail. Ah, it's not a trophy, bastard. No, but I want to take a picture. My phone's not cooperating. I can't get rid of maps.
Sometimes technology is just so advanced, it's more advanced than we even care, care for it to be. I know. <laughs> Ty, you can do it again. Yeah. Now they're waking up. Oh, no, that's, that's a pickle. <laughs> oh. All right, buddy, boat flip. One. Oh. To my back. <laughs> but it's in my back. Thanks. Dang it, it got away.